Hey everyone, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Gonna go over another upgrade that I'll be making to the Sega 12 shotgun. Uh, this improvement will be the DPH Arms Improved Gas Plug Regulator. Let's see if you can get that through the uh, actual glare of the light coming off this bag. Uh, but the original stock gas plug regulator that, that comes with the Sega 12 only has two settings. This one has six settings, so you're able to uh, fine-tune uh, the, the cycling and the, the gas pressure coming through your, your gas plugs and everything a little bit more uh, better than the original one or two settings that the, the stock plug gives you. Um, just to give you an idea here, what it shows is, uh, let's see here, the setting number one is normally used for all three inch shells and some heavy two and three quarter inch shells. Setting two and three are normally used for all heavy two and three quarter inch shells, or, or I'm sorry, buckshot uh, slugs. Settings four and five are normally used for two and three quarter inch high brass birdshot hunting loads. And then setting six is, allows the most gas into the system and is normally used for low brass shells. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you just have to kind of troubleshoot and fine-tune it yourself a little bit to uh, make sure that what you're using and the, the settings that you're using are most appropriate. Like I mentioned, this is uh, DPH Arms and uh, it ran about $25. I don't know where this came from to tell you the truth. I got it as a gift from my wife, so uh, it's a pretty nice little gift from her. And it was on my wish list. I think it was on Amazon.com, but I don't think Amazon.com sells gas or uh, firearm parts any longer, which is a real shame. Uh, but it's a, a nice solid, looks like solid uh, steel or maybe aluminum. It's pretty heavy for aluminum, so I'm guessing steel. Uh, but you can see there, hopefully, that it has numbers listed on it for each of the different settings. And then corresponding to those settings on the back of the, the enhanced plug here are different um, size um, ports that allow different amounts of gas to come through the gas system to cycle your rifle, or I'm sorry, your shotgun. Uh, these things are extremely easy to install, so I'll just kind of show you real quickly how to do that. Alright, so to install this, it's pretty straightforward. In the front, where the gas plug is, all we're really going to do is push in this detent here, and I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but there's a little detent spring in there, and we're just going to push that in, and really just unscrew the current plug that's in here. And, uh, of course, make sure you're unscrewing it the correct way while continuing to hold in that detent not the easiest thing to do for an adjustment, a gas setting adjustment, you think they would have made this a little easier to do and once you get it out far enough you won't need to hold that detent in there any longer because it's really not going to reach those spots where it sits in there but once you unscrew it we'll kind of take a look at the differences between the two of them and there's actually a little puck in there too you can replace, which I know a lot of people do. But uh, So here's the original, and you have two settings. You have one and two. One's not allowing a lot of the gas to come through, so if you got it plugged into the one, really you got it uh, kind of almost off altogether. There's really nothing coming through. And then uh, with the two setting, you have quite a bit more gas coming through with that little space, as you can see there. Compared to the new one that we're putting in, you can see it's got a, a bigger uh, got a bigger plug altogether, and it's got uh, multiple ports that allow different amounts of gas to go through. To install it, as you can imagine, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just go ahead and stick it in there, and we're going to go ahead and screw it in. This one sticks out a bit further, which is nice. Make sure you get it all the way in. And this one actually uh, snaps all the way in, as you can see there. And uh, we'll go ahead and depress that a little bit and continue turning until it's all the way down. There we go. And now you're locked in. And now you're able to choose the different settings that you want uh, in order to have more of a fine tune system with that that gas system. So uh, this will allow you to do a little bit more with the different types of ammo that you can use. Again, they give you kind of a hint here as far as what and when it's supposed to be used. Uh, being number one is normally used for th all three inch shells and some heavy two and three quarter. 
Setting two and three are normally used for all heavy. Uh, setting four and five are used for two and three quarter inch high brass. And setting number six allows the most gas into the system and is normally used for the low brass shells. Some of the cheap birdshot stuff. So for $25, it gives you a little bit more fine tuning, easy to put in. Uh, one of the probably the easiest customizations you can make to a Sega 12. Highly recommend it. Quality built piece for $25. You certainly can't go wrong. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps. And until next time, take it easy.